Alright, Wally World. Let's see if they got anything today. Cyberpunk. Go tanks. Hey! Buddy of mine needed this. Waleed. So Waleed, I got you, bro. Alright. Not seeing much else. Let's take a look. And no. Nate don't do pops. Let's see if this other little NECA area. Oh, it's not a NECA area no more. So I guess that is literally it for the NECA stuff. All they have is Friday the 13th, and they had Evil Dead forever. And not even the new wave. All right. Let's go take a look at the other toys. All right. Let's see here. We're just going to hang out. See what we can find today. Let's see. Because we don't get lucky with all those shippers everybody else does. We got frozen. That don't count. Alright. Hold on one sec. Alright. That's the wave. Yeah. Let's see. And Marvel, more. So they had the gamer wave, first wave here. So all they have is this cap. Yeah, not too bad. Let's see. Let's look at the Transformers. Bumblebee. Ooh. Grimlock. So at least we have some new Transformers at least. And, hey look, Netflix restocked. Yep. And oof. Hot Link and Megatron. So not too shabby. I like it. I like it a lot. And Astro Train. And we got some elites it looks like. Truman. Mmm. And a whole buttload of these three and three quarters. Look at that little Yoda. This retro wave. Yeah. And I wonder if they have any of the bobas. I bet you they're all gone. Yeah, that's probably the first thing that went out. Yep. That looks like it. And, uh, let's see, Scooby. They have tons of the mystery machine that everybody was looking for. And, let's see, Ghostbusters, anything. No, just the Beyblade stuff. I don't consider Playmobil part of it either. And it's all the gone. Yeah, I don't even see anything. I don't even see Power Rangers either. Other than that. All right. Well. We'll see you guys at the next one. All right.
All right, at Target. I ain't seen this guy in a long time. I mean, that's just awesome. It. Mm. Yep, bunch of pops. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I didn't even know Batman was doing new pops. All right, I'm gonna walk around. Let's go see. Let's see. Hold on. One sec. All right, and I need another one of those. Let's see. Ooh. They're redoing everything. Let's see. Lando. Lando, Lando. Guess nobody wanted the Lando. And still got the probe droids. Nothing. Seth wrong. That looks new. I know that's new. That Charlotte Flair's been there for a long time. And, all right. We're gonna get lucky with legends and bots. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of kids. Outcome not looking so good, people. I mean, that is it. That was got more of these, which is this is a really good pack. If you don't have it, get it. Hey, leader. And rage. Dang, he's big. But that's kind of nice to see though. Nice to see new stuff. Even though it's not for me, you know. Leave it for somebody else. Alright. And. Yeah, all those model kits are gone. So. That's going to be it, people. I'll see y'all later. Alright. Hello, people. This is your Ritter from Kelly Nate. Um, we went on a hunt. About a week and a half ago, probably. Um, as you guys saw, I went to Walmart. Um, and I did pick up a couple things. And a Target. Um, from my buddy, Waleed. I picked up the NECA Godzilla from 1954. He wanted this one. So I picked it up for him. And then figured, hey, I need to open one too. So I picked up a Black Widow from Target. So that's all we found, people. It's pretty dry in our part of the town. Now, additionally, so like I said, that was about a week and a half, maybe almost two weeks ago, I picked that up. It's been non-stop busy in the shop lately. Um, between stuff coming in and going out. So haven't had a chance to do some unboxings or anything. Um, but this last weekend, I went down to L.A. Um, had to get some stuff done medically and whatnot. Um, but my boys and everybody helped me out. Um, and we got a lot of goodies. I made a lot of goodies. Like, there's a lot of goodies over here. So, um, so without further ado, let's show you what we got. Alright. A courtesy of my boy, Jonathan Velasquez. Me and him did a trade. And I got myself a dark side from Mezco. Definitely needed him um, for my Justice League shelf. Um, 
The only person I think I'm missing is Red Arsenal now. My buddy Nick Pryor got me an Aquaman, so we good. Uh, oh, and a um, Cyber Knight Batman. So if anybody got a Cyber Knight Batman they're getting rid of, hit Nate up. I need that one. Because I've got Superman, i got Wonder Woman, i got Green Lantern, i got Green Arrow, i got all of them. So, yeah. Alright. So, like I said, big shout out to my boy Jonathan. Thank you, brother, for that trade. I appreciate you. And talking about trades, um, this is from my other buddy, uh, Greg Gonzalez. He did some trade-ins for some credits. So we end up getting a Cyclops, Marvel Legends Cyclops. Hey, Dokken. Yeah, you can have Dokken if you're a Wolverine fan. So I just need the unmasked head. But, we also got this. The X-Men 2-Pack with Dark Phoenix and Cyclops. I'm so excited to get this one. So, this is going to be a fun one. I cannot wait. Decision is do I open it or not? I don't know yet. We'll have to see. We'll have to see, Pete. Alright, now, I hope you guys are ready because we got. I got a box right here. That's full too. <laughs> stuff we got. Um, so, all right. Um, courtesy of this is from uh, Fat Collectibles. I bought a DC figure, and it is Multiverse. John Stewart needed. I needed a John Stewart for the collection. Yes, it's not the classic one. I still want a classic one. Um, but this would be a good stand-in for my Green Lantern shelf, um, so definitely had to pick him up. And then on a deal, when getting that, I picked up Hellboy. Oh this, of course, is his first appearance on a cover. Um, this is Seed of Destruction number one. Not his first appearance, um, but I've always loved this cover, so I had to add, add this one to the collection. All right, and courtesy, Juanitos Juanitos, we did some trades before and I was able to get these, pick these up from him. We got SKL, or yeah, or SRC, but it's um, S, the SRC Mazenkaiser. I got... Not one, but two Ultra Instant Gokus. Cause that's a perfect, I mean, like, that's a perfect body. Just swap the head out, and if you want to put a regular head on it, you're good to go. Um, we got SRC Mazinger. This, of course, is going to go to my shelf. The Mazinger Weapons Kit, which, of course, comes with the Scrander. So... Had to have it. Gotta have those effects. Um, we got Great Mazinger. SRC Grandizer. And last but not least. This is why I had SKL on my brain. Madison Kaiser SKL. So, definitely, definitely. I love the SRC line. Um, Gaio Gygar is my next things I want to build um, from them. So, that's awesome. All right. From Toys in the Box. Highly recommend them. Good guys. Really recommend. I picked up the vintage card, Deadpool. Um, 
I had to get another one of these because I had to sell mine off a while back. And that is, um, what do we call it? Outback Wolby. That's what we'll call it, Outback Wolby. I got something a little different to my channel. Um, we got some Masters of the Universe. And it's only because it's these two. These are the Japanese edition boxes from Super 7 of He-Man and Skeletor. You got, if you're an 80's kid, you gotta have at least something, right? A Mo2. Um, so I figure at least get these two. And then, uh, last thing I picked up was a Plain Toys Optimus. Now this is their Pariah Action one. So if you guys don't know what a Pariah Action is, it's a little different than the model kits, a little different than the regular Flame Toys. Um, Kuro Kari. So this is pretty much like the model kit, but all put together, ready to go. Um, so definitely. And it's already painted. I already see like some battle damage, kind of like dirty look to it. So definitely. All right. And we're just getting started, people. we really just getting started. <laughs> okay. Now, a buddy of mine, um, he held this for me. Because I've been looking for it. For me. Or Nate. <laughs> I've been getting it for everybody else. But I finally got my uh, 3A Blitzwing. Um, I needed it for my 3A shelf. I've already got Optimus, I've got Bumblebee, um, so I had to have it, especially with Soundwave coming out soon. we got to get ready, people. Soundwave's coming. He comes with the Ravage of Transforms. And then, this is because of T-Man. All because of T-Man. Um, back to the 80s, of course. We just are now starting to get some of these out in six inch scale, but as a kid I had tons of these in the three and three quarters. But it was never, you know, huge into them like I was Transformers. So I figured I might as well get a good representation of them. And it's the G.I. Joe's. Now there's like I guess several different types of box sets. Um, but this one of course is the Cobra Commander set. Um Definitely, definitely one of these guys. So we got this one, and you can't have the bad guys without having some good guys, right? Right. We got the GI Joe set with Duke and everybody. You know, I love it. It's awesome. I hope we get a Gungo. Gungo was one of my favorite characters in, in the '80s. So I'm hoping we get a Gungo out of this. Out of the six inch line. All right. And that's not it, people. We still here. Like I said, this whole box is full of goodness. All right. And um, shout out to Ageless Geeks, too. I was able to get. I got a good chunk of the stuff that's in this box from Ages. I was able to get the uh, Puck Sabertooth. So, definitely wanted this one for the Wolverine show. I needed the Wolvie too, but I didn't see it. Um, I completed my movie turtles. Finally got Mikey. So, now I've got the whole set. And then. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, I got that there. I got this at a comic shop. Um, they're really cool. You know, they came out and handed it to me. It's a Hush back from Arkham City. So, you guys know I love I love this series. Shout out to my boy, Rude. Buddy, you got me hooked up good on those. Alright, and then I picked up a Jubilee. 
uh, Deathlock. <laughs> strife. Yes, I got a strife. I had to sell mine a long time ago and I regretted it ever since then, so I picked it right back up. Um, and they got a deal with that and this one, so I picked up the Wolverine too. From the Jewel Evo. You don't see those that often. They had the um, Cyclops too. The only people that were missing were the Storm and Magneto, which are always hard to find. But. Can't get that one. Well, I'll get this Magneto. Alright. Now. Uh, I got a very old third party Transformer. Uh, this is Mania King. From Unique Toys. You guys remember that before... Third party got even huge. Um, this was one of the very first things that Unique Toys did, which you know, of course, is the same as DX9. Um, so I always wanted this. I never got it. I mean, out of everything that I ever owned, I never owned this till now. Um, so I, I've seen the other, the lighter color one, but I always like the darker color one. So this kind of rem reminds me of the movie version of it. Then we got ourselves the first appearance Wolverine and Hulk. This will go good with that one, Hulk 181 we got not too long ago. And then for my DC show, we got ourselves a Bane. Gotta have Bane. Bane was, of course, one of the biggest things that destroyed Batman in the 90s. I get it. This is the Injustice Bane. This is not, you know, the classic Bane. Um, but it's, Storm makes great figures. I mean, yeah, some of the early stuff wasn't the best, but they got better and better over time. So, happy to have this one. And then, we got a black. Thing, thing in a box but as you can see it says Transformers and I don't know if you can see that one back it says Titans Return Fortress Maximus so let me show you what's in the box it doesn't make sense once you see it because this was an actual convention exclusive And it is the sword. Swords for Titans Return, Fortress Maximus. The only way you could get this previously was in the box set from Japan. Or at SDCC. So when I saw that, that I picked that up in a heartbeat. Um, run out of room. All right. Now I got this. This is a contronation figure. Um, it was last year, or maybe the year before. Um, they had Power Morphic on, um, and me and Art and Tony and Kevin and Greg and other people, you know, we all tried to get these, and I was only able to get one of these figures after they messed us all over on it. Um, and then I ended up giving that one to my boy, uh, Steve Vincent, uh, Nostalgic Underscore Negotiator, who needs to come back to YouTube. You're in the States now, come on. Um, but Ageless had this figure and I figured, you know, it's time to just get it. And so I did, because my legacy collection was not complete without this and this is Lord Dracon from the Legacy Collection not Lightning Collection the Bandai Legacy Collection 
So, finally have mine in the set. Now, Ageless had one or two more of these. So, if they have other ones, I might pick them up. Uh, let's see what I can do. No promises, but at least I was able to get one from my collection. Okay. And then, I saw this hiding. You know, they always, they always hooked me up. So they told me that they had this one. So uh, it is the Black Adam. Um, got that. That's the other one. I need Shazam. Too. This is a good reminder. So yeah, I needed Shazam too for it. Um, for the for the Mezco show. But grab that. And then. Space and you run up again and see me. Um, we got ourselves a straight bundle. Now, I have an AL strike right there. You know, this is just the strike gun without the AL part. But, I got a gun barrel striker coming. So, that'll go good with this one. When the launcher and the sword come out, that'll go with my. Um, AL strike to make a perfect strike gun. So, thank you, Aegis. This is the last one they had. And we're almost at the end of the box. We got ourselves a 1000 Toys slash Sentinel Deluxe Nero. And you can't have Nero without having Dante. Kind of a Dante, man. It's just part of it. You gotta have it. But. The coup de gras out of everything I got here. This is worth it. What's in the this little box? Not. Nah, it's what's in this big box. And it is Unicron. I have the power of Unicron. Um, this is, of course, the Zeta Toy slash Studio One cell uh, Unicron. So, this is the body. This is the head and the wings. So, I'm excited. All right, people. There's a bunch of boxes here. That's going to be on a What's in the Box episode. All right. And I'm going to shoot that a little bit later. In the same shirt. Maybe. Who knows? Alright, you guys take it easy. Have a good one. I thank y'all. I thank y'all for everything. Like I said, a big shout out to everybody that helped me out this last weekend. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys tremendously. Felix, Juan, um, Jonathan, Greg, Mikey, anybody and everybody that helped me out. Thank you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Juanitos, thank you. All right, people. You guys take it easy and have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, all right, all right. Hello, my people. It is your redneck from Kelly Nate. Um, we went on a s small hunt, <laughs> somebody's dog, um, a l maybe a week ago or so, no, maybe longer, it's been a while, um, 
by the time you see this video, I'll have posted the other video, which was like from two weeks. <clears throat>